All right, the last video in the process is now that we know how to get it under contract, okay? Now we have to figure out how we're gonna dispo it. So this last video is called Disposition Strategies. Okay, I'm gonna cover with you guys every disposition strategy I know of right now. All right, the first one is sell to a land buyer, okay? So one thing we can do at Lead Mining is we can pull everybody who's bought land cash in the last year, and then we can call them up and ask them if they're still interested in buying land. That would just be a general land buyer, okay? That's number one. Number two is we can sell it on the MLS. This is my favorite and the most common way. Okay, all you have to do here is get a broker or a realtor to allow you to get a flat fee listing on the MLS. And it only costs a couple hundred bucks generally. And now you have access, they call it the biggest buyer's list in the nation, right? Because it's on the MLS. So all the realtors are gonna see it. Everyone's gonna see it. That's really my favorite strategy. And the reason why is, it's also going to probably sell for the most on that strategy because when it's on the MLS, everybody's got eyes on. It. So even if your price is a little low, there could be a bidding war. There could be more interest. You could raise the price. All kinds of cool things can happen when it's on the MLS. So that one's my favorite. The next strategy is you can sell it to a builder or a developer. Okay. Builders are very common. I have tons of clients who do what's called a builder strategy where we actually call builders for them in the area. We get their buy box criteria and where they're buying. And then anytime we find land in that area, we just match it up with the builder. Now the builder can be very good because they're telling us where to hunt and they're telling us how much they're willing to pay. And that is awesome. And we basically can play the matching game. The downside of a builder is you can get hyper-focused on only what they're looking for. And that's not good because the truth is if you have somebody that wants to sell, you shouldn't just think this one builder, right? So you might say, oh, well, my builder doesn't want that. That's not a lead for me. No, that's a lead for somebody. Let's get it on the MLS. Let's get it to a private buyer. Okay, there's other strategies that we can do. So the downside to the builder is the accidental narrow approach where we begin to think, well, they only want to lead in this tiny criteria. And yes, that builder does. But any lead outside of that criteria could still mean thousands of dollars worth of profit in your pocket. So try not to get too hyper-focused on only serving that builder. And remember, you have an entire real estate investment company. You don't just sell land to builders. That's one of the several things that you do. Okay, the next one, sell it on the Facebook marketplace. This is very common for people to do. Put it right on the Facebook marketplace, field incoming responses, talk to everyone about it, and then go from there. All right. And then the last method is sell it to a neighbor. So a neighbor campaign is also something that we do at lead mining, where we can actually pull a piece of land and all the surrounding land around it. And we could actually call the neighbors to ask them if they're interested in acquiring any more land. This is specifically good whenever it comes to landlocked properties. Okay, if there's some landlocked property, selling it to a neighbor might be your only bet. So when you come across these, I'm like, oh, it's landlocked. We can't do anything. No, the strategy changes. And the reason why I wanted to cover all of these disposition strategies with you is to remind you not to have tunnel vision. There's not one solution. All of these strategies should be incorporated. If you have a great lead, you should not stop at any length until you sell that deal. Don't, well, I've only heard of buyers, so let me try that. Well, I've only done the MLS, so let me do that. Well, I've only heard of um, selling it to a neighbor. You know, no, they're all available, which is why I covered them all with you today. All right, let's rock and roll. We're almost done here.